Hello people, hello and welcome back to another Maricella's video. Yes, I know again we're in Grounded. Now, I know what you can see in front of you is a load of random... Uh, ignore the ladybug. I don't know how it even got over here to be honest. It's very far away from the, the shore. But we'll ignore the ladybug. Don't know what it's doing. But you can see loads of different markers around this. And if you've seen Jcraft's video, this is a crash course. A crash course, an obby, an assault course, which we are doing a lot of Grounded... YouTube creators are creating for the anniversary of Grounded. I believe it's the three year anniversary. So you can see here, some parts have been built, some parts haven't. So this first bit here is Jade's part. I'm not going to go into too much detail on other people's parts because the videos will be on their channel. So go and check them out. And there's still, there's still a lot of areas to be filled in. But obviously, when this video goes out and the other videos follow, it's probably going to be fully fledged and fully filled out. I have chosen this section here, B, as you can see C is already built, so A and C, I'm going to be the bridge between those following on from Jade's part. So there's not going to be a lot else, I'm just going to be building it really, you're going to watch me build it, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make a massive huge video because for those of you that want to try it out, this is something we're going to try out with subscribers, other people can try it out if they want. So this is going to be my section here, and it's going to be the great section, the greatest section, woohoo! Uh, the good thing is it's a shared world, but I've, I've tried to wait until I can be host so I can spawn stuff in <laughs> But yeah, I, I won't make it too crazy. Anyway, let's 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 do some building. Let's do some building So so far what I've got I've got a very big plot as well Like I've seen some of these guys and there's a like fairly small But this one spans from here it goes to there and I, I have to follow these Markers so I have to go all the way down and like weave all the way up around. I've got a very very big area here but saying that i have done a lot of things very very similar to this so maybe i'll use some old ideas i'll use some new ideas as well but i've got some i've got some good ones uh the first one as you can see here is what i've made obviously this is just showing you this isn't showing you a path because it's very very basic so what i'm thinking here is you come in here you have two holes you have to choose the correct hole to go down you go down this one it could be completely closed off you've gone down the wrong hole you have to go back up and then you have to go down the right hole and then this will bring you up to a certain place you'll come up here there'll be three different holes to choose from again same concept you have to choose the right hole could go down this one and it'll bring you over here or something like this and it's completely closed off and you can't get through so you have to go all the way back and up through the other one it's sort of like a weird version of a maze i thought about this a little while ago and i just remembered it then so this is the first part. Then what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to get a zip line or something along the lines of a zip line. What I wanted to do is there to be silk rope in one of these areas. So if you get to the end, um, you can't get across because there's no silk rope. So you'll just fall and you won't be able to do it. So you have to go all the way back and get the silk rope to build the zip line to then get across to the next bit, which will be another sort of maze, but a maze with a twist with a twist. I'm trying to be as annoying as possible and make this as difficult as I can for everyone. So apologies in advance for for anyone who's playing this. Anyone who who follows the other guys like Paralyzer, Cade, Tiny Pirate Gaming, Jade, all those all those guys and you're watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> right, so I would say this first bit here is done. I mean, it looks terrible from the outside, but no one cares about the outside because you're not going to be on the outside, you're going to be on the inside. So let's run you through what it sort of looks like. You come in, bang, bang, one, two, where do I go? Down here. Oh, then I go up here. Oh, no, it's a dead end. Or is it? Oh, oh, no, it's not. <laughs> I fooled myself and you go down. I was going to use ladders, like there could be some loot around her and stuff, but ladders are more annoying and this just keeps it, keeps it quick, fast. So you're walking around, bang, you have to choose one of these, bang, 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 and eventually you will get all the way to the end. And there's going to be like some zip lines or something going over that direction to the rest of my area, the B area. And then it will link up to C area. And I believe C area is Tiny Pirate Gaming's one, which looks like a giant wall. I haven't looked inside of it yet. I haven't looked inside of it and I'm not going to. I'm only showing you my perspective. Now, as you can see here, so the first part's done, you've seen this, and now I've completed the second part. I'm obviously not going to show you too much, but pretty much you can see there are three different ones you have to choose, and one of these goes to the correct exit, and the other two go to nowhere. So if you choose the wrong one, you're either going to have to kill yourself, if there's a spawn point back here, or you're going to have to zipline all the way back and try and find the right one. So you could get the wrong one twice, but, you know, who knows. And then this will go on to another crazy maze the craziest maze you're ever going to see and it's going to be very very frustrating very very annoying i'm sorry i'm very 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 sorry so i've done the next part as well the next part here it is <laughs> here is the maze uh have fun with that 
have lots and lots of fun with that. It is very, very difficult. Extremely difficult to find your way through because everything is green and you have all this eelgrass. The good thing about eelgrass is you can move through it, so it doesn't obstruct your your path or block block your way through. It's just really difficult. So let's let's take a little look to see what it will be like. <laughs> so you come through here, bang. Like this, I'm not gonna lie. This maze was hard, even with without the eelgrass. I, I did it without the eelgrass, and it's still pretty difficult because once you get so far through, I've made it very, very narrow. Like this. Like, it starts getting really narrow, uh, and there are a lot of long-winded paths that take you all the way close to the end, but ultimately they just end in a dead end, so you have to go all the way back somehow because there's no way you're remembering this path. It's so difficult to... Look at it! Like, how can you see where you're going? This is mental. I'm so sorry. It's good. For those of you who like a challenge, it's going to be a hell of a challenge. But um, that's that anyway. Let's just get out of this mess. Let's get out of this absolute mess. So, stage one of mine is done. Stage two of mine is done. Stage three of mine is done. And I've got this tiny little bit here. I'm not really sure what I'm going to put here. Maybe it'll be a surprise, but here I was just going to keep it fairly like simple, fairly open, especially after that. I don't want people raging too hard. Um, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. It's just going to be just just a mess. It'll be something nice and easy for you to just, just chill out on as you make your way over. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I don't know when this is going out. It's probably going out towards the end of July. Uh, I've recorded this uh, a few weeks in advance. But once once the full the full release is done, everyone has completed their parts. I'm sure Jade will update us because he's the one organizing it. He's got in contact with the grounded devs as well, so they can like help out with certain things. I guess they'll probably put like a post in in their Discord or something like that. But yeah, once it's all done and completed, you will see it and you can test it. But until then, thank you very much and goodbye! <laughs>